All right, welcome to Puddle Jumpers, RC. Okay, today is going to be a review, and uh, my my opinion on uh, the Z thirty three hundred milliamp thirty C fourteen point eight volt four S high performance lithium polymer batteries okay I bought these batteries because they were cheap they're a cheap battery to buy uh, I don't know if they're still available I think I got them off of uh, Amazon uh, they were like uh, maybe $25 a battery and that's really cheap for a uh, four cell battery they're a soft case battery they're not a hard case battery they charge and uh, you know they run my trucks pretty good but uh, one thing that I have noticed alright I've got I think three of these I think I have one in my truck now <clears throat> they do swell a little bit you can see a little bit of swell in there they're they're rounded you know they're not completely flat anymore I noticed when I ran them they swelled up on me and it didn't matter which battery it was uh, even this battery same thing I got some swelling it's not terrible you know it goes down a little bit after it runs for a while but uh, you know this one right here as you can see this is an older one this one right here doesn't have very much uh, use or scuff marks probably one of the newer ones but if you look here you can see where this one's been ran a lot more it's probably been charged a lot more um, they do charge okay takes a while for them to balance out you know like I said uh, they're not a real high-end expensive uh, 4s battery but uh, I mean I haven't had any failures with them uh, and and the runtime really isn't bad it's pretty decent uh, I run these uh, primarily in my uh, my zombie AD which is uh, a 10th scale uh, monster truck uh, and uh, you know it's 4S capable and it you know they they work in there it run, they, you know it runs good it's got plenty of power uh, but these are just an inexpensive uh, you know 4S battery so if you're looking for a battery uh, you know that'll work it'll get the job done uh, so you can get a 4S in there so you don't have to uh, double up you know two two S's to try to get 4S you can run these batteries uh, and I really the only thing that I, I didn't like about them is they swell they get hot a little bit and they swell but like I said I haven't had any failures they come with uh, Dean's connectors um, I don't know if uh, because it, I think I do believe there's 12 wire I yeah this is uh, this is 12 wire on these and I think you probably should have 10 wire on there because it's a 4s uh, on my 3s uh, batteries that I've got that are the Florians they're 3000 milliamp 30 C's and uh, you know they're a 3s battery and they've got tens they got 10 wire on there I have no no problems with any swelling but let's uh let's take a look at the voltage on these like I said they're a 14.8 volt that's a 4s and uh, on this one right here we've got 16.41 which is you know I don't know a volt and a half which isn't bad but as you can see this is fully charged I charged it and uh, 
when they charge, uh, it takes a little while for them to get all balanced out. There's usually one cell that's a little finicky on these. And uh, right here, that's 89%. And uh, it said it was full. 88%, which is the first cell, 4.09. Cell 2 is 4.11. It's 92%. 4.088 on the third cell, 88%. 4.115, 91%. Okay, so they're they're close. They're not the greatest, but they're close. So uh, let's check this one. This one's a little bit newer. Uh, that one right there is older, and this is a newer one. I'd probably run them. Uh, I'd probably, you know, I've I've had them for quite a while. I would say, you know, uh, probably eight months. So this one right here is ninety percent, as you can see, and it's sixteen point four four for total voltage. Four point oh nine, eighty eight percent for the first cell. Second cell is four point one three, ninety four percent. Four point one two. 92% and then 4.09 which is 88% and it like I said there just always seems to be one cell and maybe it's the uh, you know cell 4 that is always just uh, takes a little bit more time to uh, to get balanced out on these and uh, <clears throat> like I said uh, they don't charge up to 99%. They still run good. Still run for quite a while. I have good power with them. Uh, maybe um, one thing I could do is, after I let them sit overnight, after I charge them, is plug them back in and see if they take a little bit better charge. Uh, and I can get them a little closer to, you know, 95% or 98%. But... Uh, I looked back on Amazon because I was trying to figure out exactly how much I paid for them uh, and I couldn't find them at least these 3330 C's um, so I don't know if they're on eBay or not if you can still get them on eBay but you know this is probably a case of uh, you know and it a little bit more inexpensive battery uh, so you're gonna get a little bit of swelling I haven't had any failures with them they do work they haven't hurt my cars or my car that I run them on I've even ran them in my uh, JLB cheetah and I've run a pack through uh, through that and you know you can see the difference when you put these four cells in compared to uh, a three on these trucks that are capable to run these <clears throat> definitely a lot more power uh, you know and they they work good but they do get hot at the end of the run they're hot especially if you're running them and and really running them hard doing a lot of speed runs uh, makes them hot and they swell a little bit. And uh, I guess, you know, it's not just one battery. All three of them, I think, have swelled on me a little. Uh, and they do get hot. But like I said, uh, they're an inexpensive four-cell battery for, you know, your RC truck. So for what it's worth, you know, my opinion is for uh, the money you pay for them, they get the job done. I mean, they work good. Uh if you don't mind them swelling up a little bit on you, they do get a little hot, like I said. But other than that, they've been a good battery. They got good Dean's connectors. Haven't had any problems. Haven't had any problems with the uh, balance leads. Uh, the ends seem like they're really, really well made. So I think that's about it on the uh, Z4S LiPo batteries. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Puddle Jumpers and keep our seeing, man.